Past smuggling remains a thorny issue for communities living along South Africa's borderlines. Police admit that while strides have been made to curtail the crime, more needs to be done. Our in-depth producer, Lindiwe Mabena, research, uh, researcher Valencime Tiane and video journalist Spu Tembe went to one of the smuggling hotspots in KwaZulu-Natal in Manguzi and filed this report. We reveal alleged members of syndicates operating in Guazul Natal's Manguzi area and go to their alleged haven as authorities ramp up efforts to eradicate the smuggling of cars to Mozambique. The Umtlabuya Lingana municipality is a tourist destination located in northern Guazul Natal along the border with Mozambique. Beyond these scenic views and rich culture of the people in this part of South Africa lies the dark world of car smuggling. Here, hijacking hardly ever happens on the road. The targets are these luxurious cars and trucks. Criminals are are in the Africa bulala bantu, atati moto, alwemule, atochare shabantu, yonke lendo. Sat no at 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 Today, we are visiting Sam Jali at his home in Manguzi. He has first-hand experience of what Mtetwa is talking about. His car was parked in this shelter when it was taken. Mm. <laughs> Salalela 
Sasis Puma la Pose, Hambagi Banga, Sizan, Artisan, Abbas, to look in the Mangus, Sangana Womuni Muse, Ilasa to Lapon, Sizzle, Sasis Phone, as for Nella, I can't put on Talu with no sinking. Mjali survived the old deal with his two sons. He reveals that he's one of the lucky few who over the years have managed to get their cars back, but wouldn't disclose the details of how the process was first tracked in his case. So Baba Tola Labafan Baby involved in Davinia Kota Vindra. You know. Nangas and Baba on for tench. Well the case we have to lab. Most of the cases are final. Our appeal is to the number of the legal Teachers like Edmond Zikali are among the group of professionals the smugglers target. They study their movements and report on them. While he and his family also escaped with their lives from the smugglers, he says the trauma of the burglary still haunts him. Angfunu kamba manga tatuwe tu kupsunga kulo ngoba yabona ugla shagela tene unga la shagelo anga imoto per nezindo e suge ziko na nje ni zahamba zala shag zatat yabona nje impilo ya mkuswe lango 2020 kuswe umanja aiga zifan nje ngoba ya iyo kuswe lango 2020 imoto angi pata kote insurance tene ziko kile ya ba shabona but ba ibona ngoba Iwalela and a Pesha and then was a Mozambique. Sugala La Poga, Sanga Titian, Genema Satini, a Pelag network. Sugala La Pong Bang Saz of Seven Zagala. This AK 47 was recovered at a different scene in Manguzi after its owner was shot dead by the police. Zikali says they have been living in fear for too long and a solution is urgently needed. Nazo Kumi Pam. Mshambe etu zana la inga kikon. Ngo twelve. Ngang buza wangu muntekse nuti. Hey, kusaminga vuga te kuma gupa guko no gumbese ukuzo. Kwezi skati ngai zingi buza nje guti. Enga ve i ambassador. E kona la ya se Mozambique. I i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i in Mozambique, it's in Mangabi Motors as South Africa as well. In the late Dalugut, it propats as South Africa to Lagale Mozambique, in Abuya South Africa, Umangabi and Mozambique, Mogung and Ted. Yeah, from a community perspective, uh, what if you live at a border uh, notorious for smuggling? Uh, this is concerning cars from South Africa into Mozambique. Let's take you back to that insert on car smuggling. Most top South African government officials, including former President Jacob Zuma and his then deputy Cyril Ramaphosa, have been to Manguzi, where Zuma addressed the cross border crime that has traumatized the community of Umkanyagude district. I assigned several departments to work on the issues that had been raised by the community here and are happy to report back on those of the issues. Intervention is to locate the syndicates uh, that are operating in this area and uh, throughout South Africa that steal cars and cross them into the border of Mozambique. And uh, we need to, we need to uh, intensify our plans with regard to that. The second part is to fix the border. Our border is not only porous, but it is easy to actually cross. So we need a multidisciplinary uh, governmental approach, which will include uh, our sister forces, the South African Defense Force. While community leaders and Manguzi police officials say the multidisciplinary approach has made a difference, the team have their work cut out as they contend with a ring that's described as a sophisticated network that includes scouters and corrupt law enforcement officials. Almost we Friday in Saturday. On Monday, 
The police have cited these men as some of the syndicate members with Bongani Masinga and Musa Malwane as the most feared. Among the syndicate is an 18-year-old fugitive, Siposenko Sikosa, who police say changed his surname to Mgambi during this identity parade. So did this man, whose real name is said to be Gebelongosi. Some of them, we are told, have double citizenship. This man, who asked that we conceal his identity for safety purposes, says that is one of the ways the syndicate members evade justice. <laughs> So, the moon is to This is the school the police say spotters and fence cutters are mostly recruited from. Our source says he was also a learner here when he joined the car smuggling syndicate. <laughs> This is the area which most of our sources labeled as a haven for the car smugglers. It is called Mkotini Wemfubu and is regarded as a no-go zone by the locals. Here, even the police are not spared. This footage was taken just days before our arrival in Ngomhlabuya Lingana, where they found themselves spied. Still traumatized by the incident, three TRT officers dished us halfway through our journey to the so-called Den of Thieves, and the two veteran officers we were left with didn't take us too far for fear of compromising our safety. Apparently, some locals who can't afford car installments also hire the smugglers to steal their cars. <laughs> So in this case, we have been working to improve our standards of safety. We have been working to improve our standards of Syndicate members allegedly swipe cards they stole from their victims at this tavern. We reached out to the owner of the establishment to verify these claims. Because this is in the public interest, we recorded the call without his knowledge. Mm. Mm. 
ako na makasong magmanja sa ibale a a asabaw ay chan so di lang kay sa ako po tanging may ugusi eh kuna kuna le so di ugusi eh may ati kaba sa china pinakimi na makasong pero kung gusto masya na makasong mo ugusi benda ni lumo ko na ba benda ni wala akad mo ba mina bagas na pinakimi na at some point during the nerve wracking drive through the alleged den of thieves, we parked a few kilometers away from where our sources say is a house that belongs to Mfanawenko Simalwani, an alleged car smuggling kingpin. We are told some members of this community protect the smugglers due to fear, while others get paid for scouting and their silence. Even cattle herders are allegedly involved. After a nail-biting 20-minute drive from the infamous M. Kotiniwe Zimvubu Forest, we are finally out. We used a different route this time because initially we went that other way through the R22 and now we came this side just to avoid the spikes that we are told by the police officers that immediately once the gang here hears that we have arrived, there are people that are lacking around or police officers have entered, then they just put them so that when you try to go through the same route, you can't come out. So yeah, I think it's a victory for us. Let's uh, take you back uh, to that insert, of course, uh, as uh, we are really bringing you to the heart of what happens uh, when cars are smuggled. From Mkotiniwe Zimvubu, the smugglers drive for more than an hour to this place, which is called Mfishweni. It is a place next to the homestead of Inkosi Utembe and is eight kilometers away from the borderline where they then cross over to Mozambique. It's a Saturday morning and the Timber tribe is observing Umkosiwok an annual event to celebrate Heritage Month and share what locals have produced for the year. We came here to find out how this crime has impacted residents. Ngapanzwe <laughs> So I'm in South Africa right now and I'm just about to cross to Mozambique. Um, this place is known as Guapuza here in Manguzi. Um, it's famous with the locals this area. Every Wednesday and Saturdays I am told that locals would normally trade, you know, before COVID actually interrupted all this. They would trade, they will sell their local wine, you know, palm wine, which is known as Injamani. And, you know, this is when everything would happen, all activities. Those activities allegedly included the meeting of smugglers. These community leaders also showed us the 85 million rent Jesse Barriers project, which they say has helped in bringing down the smuggling of cars in the area. It was suspended pending the finalization of a probe into alleged corruption. Kali project, IPL, I project. Loko kunyuma guko na ngere singe nenga kulu aba investigate ba tole ba 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 ope. Patu kubeko na i contingency plan. Uwutuma guto ai 
isamile senze njani tina stabanga ii Nikuwa na kwa ni mpele sibu wangakula ma umparati na masosha na mapoeza Ay sibambe ni mpele sibambi sene ubu kebili ni zinga ay we spoke to an immigration officer who we will call Spusiso, which is not his real name. He believes that corrupt police officials are the main problem. Nothing <laughs> Uh, <laughs> We also spoke to a Gossip Bay worker who is not authorized to speak to the media. He testifies to what the immigration officer has just told us. But the listing motors are my private, I'm a family car. There's no call on the end. The police department says it deals with corruption claims whenever such incidents are reported and there is progress on cases and convictions. The question though is who buys these cars? Ah, let me tell you, I'm going to use it for a moment. I'm going to use it for a moment because it's very good. The students are going to allow you to use it for a moment. I'm going to use it for a moment. Ibrinzika <laughs> Never.